Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here. I would have liked to have made this video yesterday, but Xbox was having a ton of problems, like, I guess, with login, authentication stuff. Uh, I saw Kevin Cool say that his wife got uh, notifications saying that people were trying to log in from Russia and Brazil and stuff, so change your passwords. Uh, make sure you have dual authentication on because you don't want to lose your Xbox accounts because if you're like me, it's been like 20 years at this point. Anyways, we got a new operation in Halo called Anvil. It's going to run from July 2nd to July 30th. Obviously, there's a new operation pass. There's a new spanker model if you pay the $5. And there's a purple weapon coating as well. If you pay that $5, you get the premium battle pass, operation pass thing. It's supposed to be themed around elites. Uh, the armor in the battle pass is supposed to be elite themed. It's kind of. But with that, there's a little bit of background stuff on Halo Waypoint. I will link the article in the description down below so you guys can check that out. Give some like background to Anvil and all that cool lore stuff. But not only did we get a new operation, but we also got probably... What I think, to be completely honest, is the most creative, different game mode that we've had in Halo. Halo Infinite since Last Spartan Standing, at least. And it's match-made, it's the, it's the feature playlist. I'm not gonna lie, you get a ton of experience from it. So I'm gonna be trying to grind it out uh, for, you know, career ranks and stuff like that. We also got a brand new BTB map to go with it, but the new game mode is called Century Defense. Now this is basically PvE. EVP or PVP V P V E E E M P C P P. Anyways, you're asking yourself what is so cool about that? And I will answer you, viewer. As soon as I tell you about today's sponsor, it's me. If you enjoy Halo content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. 90% of you don't, and you watch these videos, so it's kind of weird that uh, you're like stalking me. So if you just hit that subscribe button, I might hit 15k thousand subscribers. 15k thousand is such a stupid... God, I'm so dumb. I could be your third favorite Halo YouTuber. Anyways, this is from the Halo Waypoint article. A new big team battle mode has arrived. Introducing BTB Century Defense. Now, basically, it says one of the sub-monitors who we fought during the campaign has decided to jump into the multiplayer action. But it's not really him. They're just going to be called Centuries in this context. And basically, you have to protect and destroy the enemy's sentry. Each team has 2,000 points. As damage is dealt, the available score will drop, and if you reach zero, it's game over. They also spawn in repair fields in a neutral location, so you can grab it and run back and repair your sentry, which is very cool. The maps that it will be playable on is Fragmentation, High Power, Deadlock, Oasis, Scar, and Command, which is the new one. Shout out to Who's Blaze? Sika, Mika, Kaniko, I'm sure I've ruined that. King Bartlett, Oakum 1, Bullet to the Head 9, Metal, and Total Legend. Shout out to those. They're actual legends. Raid Shadow Legend. I'm just kidding. That was a joke. I did get to play on this map. I enjoyed it. So shout outs to them. Very happy. Uh, this is what Halo Infinite should have been getting all along if we're not not gonna lie to each other i'm just happy that there's something new to play and now we need to talk about an issue that we've talked about before on this channel uh it's something that i think is really a plague i understand what 343 is doing i understand why they're doing it i get all the like i'm not yelling at the community you know uh management people or anything like that or any of the devs and stuff i understand there's like a whole marketing team blah 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 blah. but man between the exchange and the uh operation pass and the store i just don't understand what we're doing man it's just really disappointing to see all this stuff you know in the store when it could have been in, in the battle pass, I guess. I just, I, I don't like it. The exchange also got updated. They have the DIN coating and a new, like, gray and black uh, coating that are 30k Spartan points each. And I play this game a lot. I only have, like, 40k. So, I, I really don't know what to say. Like, it stinks that I played an entire operation before this one, didn't spend anything in the exchange, and I still only have enough points to get, you know, one of the coatings. It's just unfortunate. The shop also has, uh, I guess, jackal-themed armor, which is also cool. But again, it's just kind of like, eh. 
that's my biggest uh, gripe right now with the game is you know the store stuff and like i i don't know if they're making a ton of money off of it i can't imagine that they would do this if they aren't making money still off of it so i don't want to say it is what it is because it is disappointing to me and i wish there was an alternative or i wish we got more spartan points for people or yeah you know, what i would freaking really love is like if there were a way to trade in spartan points for like credits like a thousand Spartan points is equal to 500 credits or something. I don't know. 10,000. I don't know. I just feel like that would be better for me at this point because honestly, I have everything in the exchange um, except for like the new armor coatings, which I think there's only three new things. Let me look. Yeah. Two armor coatings and a wrist gear are the only new things in the exchange. So it's kind of like me. Anyways. I want to know your opinions. Let me know in the comments down below. Be respectful as always. This isn't witch hunt hours or anything like that. Let me know if this is something that's actually going to make you hop on the game. I was excited to play it. I played multiple matches and I enjoyed my time playing it. And I can absolutely see this as a like main game mode that I play now. That's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Around the ring. I don't even remember my intro. Cue the outro. Intro, outro. God, man, have I not made videos in, like, months or something? I am falling apart right now. Peace!